Hello again, my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance people. Your host is always Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Today, I will refresh your knowledge regarding the A320 hydraulic system with a participation in a quiz regarding A320 hydraulic system. So, I will join the quiz now. Okay, I am a participant now in the quiz and let's start an A320 chapter 29 hydraulic quiz number one. So, we will have a question now, which hydraulics system are pressurized by engine driven pump? Uh, yes, we have blue and green, yellow and blue, green and yellow and the three hydraulic systems. No, I think uh, we have the green system and the yellow system is pressurized by engine driven pump. So green and yellow system. So yes, it's a correct answer. So uh, yes, for the A320, the green and yellow hydraulic system are pressurized by an engine driven pump. What is the auxiliary source of pressure for the green and yellow system, for the green and yellow system, the auxiliary source is the power transfer unit, BTU, BTU. Let's proceed to the other question. So in this quiz, uh, every part spent uh, got a score regarding the correct of the answer and the speed of the answer. So let's proceed. Next question. This question said, if low fluid level in the green or yellow system, an amber caution triggered on the E-CAM request the pilot to switch off the BTU? I think so, yes. So true. Yes, it's correct answer. Uh, and let's see uh, why this question is right. He said if low fluid level in the green or yellow system, so for example, it is a leak, leak in the green system. So now the BTU cannot operate because if the BTU operate, there is no hydraulic fluid on this side, on the green side. So if the BTU operate, I think it will overheat the properly functioning system. So the problem will not be single hydraulic loss, but will be dual hydraulic loss. Green hydraulic low level and yellow reservoir overheat. So I think in case of low fluid level in the green or yellow system, yes, an amber caution, which is, uh, uh, which will come on the ECAM, will request the pilot to switch off the BTU. In this situation of a low fluid level, I think also in case of reservoir overheat or reservoir low air pressure, you need to switch off the BTU. Otherwise, the BTU will run at a maximum speed without hydraulic fluid or with, or with an overheat hydraulic fluid and it will do a problem to the properly functioning system. Okay. Next question. Uh, next one. For blue system, normal source of pressure is the electrical pump. And the auxiliary source is the ram air turbine, RAT. This is the schematic of the hydraulic system of the A320. Yes, for the blue system, the main pump is the electric pump. And the auxiliary source is the RAT, ram air turbine. So I think the answer is true. Let's see. Yes, it is a correct answer. The electric bump in the blue system, if you remember, is the main bump of the blue system and it is start running with first engine start until last engine shutdown. And also in the blue system, we have the RAT, ram air turbine, that may be deployed in case of emergency electrical or emergency hydraulic situation. Emergency electrical or emergency hydraulic situation. Okay. 
so let's see the next question the constant speed motor generator is used to provide aircraft electrical power in normal operation in normal operation yes from the user of the blue system here we have constant speed motor generator but I think this is an emergency generator emergency generator so it will operate in case of emergency situation like emergency electric configuration so it will not operate in normal operation so the answer for sure is false yes it's right so constant speed motor generator is a user for the blue system and constant speed motor generator in case of emergency electric configuration if the red deploy it will pressurize the blue hydraulic system and the constant speed motor generator will have the blue hydraulic fluid pressurized and produce electrical power from hydraulic power from hydraulic power let's see the next question okay in normal operation how the blue hydraulic system pressurized by the blue hydraulic system in normal operation pressurized by an electric pump this is a picture of the blue hydraulic bay it is located in the blue uh, it's located front of the main landing gear wheel well on the right hand side so most of the blue hydraulic components are located in the blue hydraulic bay. This is an electric pump of the blue hydraulic system, the normal source of pressure of the blue system. So yes, the blue hydraulic system pressurized by an electric pump. This is a normal source of pressure, an electric pump. Yes, it is a correct answer. Okay. Next one, is it possible to store the ram air turbine in flight if we have an emergency situation and the rat deploy it automatically or manually? Do we have a possibility to restore the rat in flight? I don't think so. To store the rat, the rat needs hydraulic power to be stored. Blue hydraulic power. And the red storage panel is located on the blue hydraulic ground surface panel outside the aircraft on the fuselage. So it is not possible to store the ram air turbine in flight. So the answer is false. Yes, answer is false. So I'm in the second place now. The hand pump is located on the yellow ground service panel. This is the yellow ground service panel. Located on the fuselage, left hand side. And yes, there is the hand pump for cargo door operation. Hand pump for cargo door operation on the yellow ground service panel. And the hand pump lever is located also on the yellow ground service panel on the yellow ground service panel so yes the hand bump is located on the yellow ground service panel answer is yes perfect it is a right answer okay next so ram air turbine deliver pressure is 2500 psi 3000 psi 4000 BSI. The rat, if it is deployed, it pressurizes the blue hydraulic system, blue hydraulic fluid, not at 3000 BSI, at 2500 BSI. 2500 BSI. Yes, perfect. All other pump pressurize the hydraulic fluid to 3000 BSI, the nominal or normal system pressure is 3000 BSI, the EDB, the BTU, uh, the electric pump, pressurize the hydraulic system at 3000 BSI. Only the rat, if it's used to pressurize the blue system, 
it pressurized it and the deliver pressure is 2500 psi okay next one so he here i'm in the first place <laughs> okay the btu power transfer unit is automatically activate when the differential pressure between the green and yellow system is greater than 1000 psi 500 psi or 200 psi yes the btu is a hydraulic motor pump and it is activated if delta pressure between the green and yellow system is more than 500 psi 500 psi so the right answer is 500 psi so as you can see the btu is automatically activate when the differential pressure between the green and yellow system is higher than 500 psi when the engines are shut down the btu allows the green system to be pressurized using the yellow electric pump and the btu is inhibited during the first engine start and is automatically tested at second engine starts at second engine start okay let's proceed next question the btu is inhibited during the first engine start and is automatically tested during the second engine start yes this statement is correct this statement is correct btu is inhibited during first engine start and is automatically tested during second engine start inhibition logic for the btu during cargo door operation first engine start with parking brake on or towing control lever on the towing position and the btu is located on the main landing gear wheel well it is consists of green part and yellow part and it is a bi-directional BTU, bi-directional BTU. So this answer is correct. Okay, very good. Let's see the next question. All the hydraulics reservoirs are filled from the green ground service panel, blue ground service panel, yellow ground service panel yes all the three reservoir are filled from the green ground service panel green ground service panel if you need to refill the green reservoir the yellow reservoir or the blue reservoir you will go to the green ground service panel and there is a selector valve you will select the dedicated reservoir and you can monitor the quantity of each reservoir on the reservoir quantity indicator on the green ground service panel from the blue ground service panel, you can retract the rat. You can retract the rat. The rat storage panel on the blue ground service panel. And from the yellow ground service panel, you can open and close the cargo doors. Cargo door operation. Cargo door operation. Okay. Let's see the next question. The yellow hydraulic reservoir is located in the main landing gear bay. Yellow hydraulic reservoir is located in the main landing gear bay. False. The yellow hydraulic reservoir is located in the yellow hydraulic bay. In the yellow hydraulic bay. Located forward of the main landing gear well well on the right hand side. Next question. The fire shutoff valves are operated by their respective fire push buttons on the engine fire panel. This is the fire shutoff valve. They are located for the green and yellow hydraulic system. Yes, in case of fire procedure, if we release the fire push button, it will close the fire shutoff valve. It will close the fire shutoff valve. So the answer is true. The answer is true. Next question. An accumulator in each circuit helps to maintain a constant pressure during normal operation by cover a transient demand. Yes, in the green system, blue system, yellow system, there is a system accumulator that will 
provide a constant output of 3000 psi and the cover a transient demand this is a system accumulator this picture show us the green system accumulator in the main landing gear wheel well in the main landing gear wheel well so the answer is true Next question. The AC20 hydraulic system is composed of three different and fully independent circuits, green, yellow, and blue. Of course, it is right. Independent hydraulic system. This meant that there is no transfer of fluid between any of these systems. Each system is independent of its fluid. Let's see the next question. When the BTU operation is inhibited, when the BTU operation is inhibited, BTU is operated all the time with no inhibition logic? I don't think so. With first engine start or during cargo door operation? Yes, it is right. It is correct. If engine two is failing during flight? No. So the right answer is first engine start or during cargo door operation. Cargo door operation. Next question. Question 17 of 20, the yellow reservoir is pressurized with air. This is the yellow reservoir located in the yellow hydraulic bay, and it is pressurized 50, 60, 100. It is pressurized at 50 BSI. This is the correct answer, 50 BSI. Why the reservoir is pressurized? To prevent the bump cavitation, to prevent the bump cavitation. Next one. True or false, hydraulic fluid cannot be transferred from one system to the other. On the A320, yes, each system is independent of its fluid. So there is, there is no transfer of fluid between the three systems. The BTU transfer power, but does not transfer fluid. So the answer is true. Next question. Rat indication is white when rat is faulty on the E cam. No, I think if the rat is faulty, the indication of the rat will be amber. Indication of the rat will be amber. So the answer is false. Okay. Next one. Last question. When BTU is running, Hydraulic BTU is displayed green on memo display. Yes. On the memo display, if the BTU is running, you will have hydraulic BTU on the memo display. Okay, perfect. So now we finish the quiz. Thank you for your good listening and always stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this to remember the Airbus A320 hydraulic system. Airbus A320 hydraulic system. Thank you and I will see you again. Bye bye.